Hey, what's going on everybody? Full Furniture today bringing y'all a Clash Mini video and in today's video we're going to be showcasing what I think are two of the best decks with the Bandit. We're going to be going over this Skeleton King deck and then we're also going to be going over this Wave Master deck and we'll talk about all the different strategies that come with it. So let's start off with the Skeleton King. This one has the Miner, the Barbarian, the Archer, the Royal Ghost, and yes, the Bandit. So let's start off with it we're gonna go with the um skeleton king here i'm gonna grab the bandit to help kind of kick things off we're gonna push that over and then i think i want to go with the uh barbarian here so let's pull this out and here we go oh he's gonna he's gonna pull everything but it's not really gonna matter because it was a fisherman pull uh onto skeleton kings and our bandit so honestly that was probably worse for him uh than it was for us we do have our bandit dash not going to be coming through there um his two souls are going to get taken down right there we're going to get skeleton king super off and then we're going to be able to get our bandit dashed up and the super goes through didn't even matter we didn't need it that's going to be a round one victory for us so he can play fisherman all he wants i don't know why he tried to full send fisherman in round one but hey, you do you. All right, let's try. Uh, ooh, I think what we probably want to do is let. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, so let's sell the Barkbarian and go Archer or in that, and we're gonna drop the Royal Ghost down. So the only thing we're gonna be keeping alive in this moment is gonna be the cloned Skeleton King, which. Honestly, it's perfectly fine because it'll drag everybody to our uh, to the left side. And our Skeleton King is going to be able to put in work. We do have Bandit dashing through all over the place. He's going to build up so much energy coming down. And the Skeleton Kings are going to put in work. No isolation from his Skeleton King. And our Bandits are just going to be dashing all over the place. Getting it down. There it is. GG well played. Round 2 victory. Easy for us. And we should be able to get this round 3 victory fairly easy as well um let's grab the barbarian let's go with the archer uh we're gonna go i don't know let's grab rush just in case and it looks like we are gonna be able to get what we want here we're gonna grab the uh let's grab bandit with the destroy here and then i'm gonna go with the um let's go with the sauna in the back and i'm gonna bring the barbarian over here and we're just going to leave this as is next round we'll be able to go for the royal ghost upgrade if there is next round we'll go for the royal ghost upgrade maybe we'll get the royal ghost level two and just go level two ghost level two bandit might be the best thing we can do uh in this moment so we are going to be able to take his golden giant down our bandit's going to start dashing all over the place we dash straight back to the miner first skeleton king's going to go into the sauna so we are going to have a completely raged up skeleton king his bandit's going to get taken down. Here comes our rogue ghost. He's going to be able to slap away at the skeleton king. Boom. His potter gets taken down. Skeleton king gets taken down. And that's going to be a quick and easy 3-0 against another skeleton king deck. Man, the rogue ghost combo with the bandit is so strong because you can just make them invisible. And let the bandit start building up energy and then just start dashing through. All right, honestly, like that last game I played, it was just so bad. Like I played terribly. I didn't, I didn't get good rerolls. I played it bad, so we're just gonna run it back. Um, all right, so let's grab Wave Master here. We'll start with this. This is gonna be a good first combo. Um, yeah, last game couldn't reroll a single bandit. Um, I rerolled. It was just bad. It was just bad all around. All right, so we have the energy boost going. Now we're gonna dash through. Stun's gonna be coming. Bandit gonna be able to get the absorb onto his king. We're gonna get some stuns rolling through. Bandit, again, gonna be able to absorb the king. We're gonna get some uh, shots onto the king here. Again, we're gonna absorb. He still does get the super off, but we have plenty of energy to be able to take, or plenty of health to be able to take this king down. Wave Master's gonna super. And here it is. Boom. Get taken down. Round one goes to us. All right. Here we go. Round number two. Let's grab the bandit. We're going to go with the plus two absorb here. 
And then I'm going to grab this Lumberjack just in case, but I want to reroll for Bandit here. We don't get it. That's fine. Um, let's go with the Elixir Pump right here. And we're just going to leave the Lumberjack kind of up front. And let the... Let the bandit just kind of cook. Let her, let her do her thing. He's going to go with the... Uh, sauna in the back. Archer is going to go into the sauna. We're going to be able to dash through. We dash all the way back. Oh man, bandit. Going to be able to get some shots off. Let's see if the bandit can dash again. Bandit does get the dash again. We don't have the stun just yet, but we are going to try to build up some energy. We do get the dash. The archer is going to get taken down. And honestly, we should be able to... Oh, the bandit didn't get a dash there. That would have been huge if it did. We get the stun here. We should be able to get one more stun. We're going to get the heals. And I don't know if we actually have more health than the Barb King. Oh, one HP was the difference. Oh, man. That was unfortunate. That was unfortunate. All right. Can we get bandit here? Uh, we don't get bandit on this one. Let's grab the potent for the lumberjack. And let's just grab fisherman here. Just in case. Um... What we'll do is we'll pull this. All right, this is just not good. We have not been able to roll any bandits whatsoever. We don't even get a double mini P.E.K.K.A. Instead, we get double giant skeleton, which I feel like is almost worse. Let's go for the bigger boom here onto the giant skeleton. And I can just shift this lumberjack back one. And we'll just continue to run like this. And I mean, hopefully, yep. Lumberjack's going to get blasted by the Prince, which is perfectly fine. Bandit's going to dash through. His archer is going to get taken down. Giant Skeleton Bomb's going to go off. We're going to be able to get dash off onto the Barbarian. He's going to be able to get some energy. Bandit's going to dash back over to the Archer. Wavemaster's going to get the stun. Bandit's going to dash away. Stun's coming out. Bandit is going to be able to dash back to the Archer. What a huge play from the Bandit. We're able to absorb some more energy. Wavemaster is taking the reins of the king. He's going to take the attention, and that is going to be a round three victory for us. All right, here we go. Now we get the bandit. All right, let's go for the days here. I'm going to grab our mini P.E.K.K.A. as well, and we do get bandit level three. That is perfect. Let's sell the fisherman here, and let's go. Let's just go straight bandit level three. Having that level three, she's going to be able to have a 1.4 second uh, hit speed. Like 1.4 1, 1. hits per second, uh, which is going to let her build up her super quite quickly, um, which is going to be a huge, huge help. So if he wants to go for the Prince onto our Wave Master, that's fine. He's going to go for the Prince onto the Giant Skeleton, which is still just fine as well. Prince is going to be the one to get sent back into the sauna. Bandit's going to dash through. Bandit not absorbing any energy because none of the units that are near her have energy. Prince is going to be able to get a lot of damage. Bandit going to be able to dash all the way away. And the Prince was actually dealing damage to the Wave Master, which kind of took it down. So really well played on his part. I think what we probably need to be doing here is we need Mini P.E.K.K.A. I'd really like Mini P.E.K.K.A. level 3, so I'm going to grab the swords or Fisherman here. And we do not get Mini P.E.K.K.A. level 3, okay. Um, well, this is kind of unfortunate. Prince, we can't pull... We can't pull the Wave Master. Let's try Stun Duration here. And I guess let's hope he keeps his Archer there. He does keep the archer there. We get the stun pulling through. Bandit's going to dash all the way. Archer's going to be the first one to die, which honestly, I think I'd rather the archer go down because the prince is going to do a lot more damage. Let's have the bandit dash all the way back. Bandit's going to get the one hit onto the archer. Archer's going to get taken down here. Bandit's going to dash all the way back. Bandit's going to dash through onto the barbarian. Bandit's going to take it down because it has the uh, increased damage on units with below 50% HP. And that is going to be good game well played. We take down Barb King to Elixir. Get out of here. See you later. Bandit is really fun to play. She's really hit or miss, honestly. You have to be able to play her correctly if you want the best opportunity to try to win your games with her. So she's super fun to play. Still learning a lot about her, but I think these two decks are really good with her. So if you try these decks, let me know how they work for you down in the comment section below. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, share for more content, and don't forget to turn that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. And I'll talk to you all in the next one. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you later. Peace out.